Okay, so I had to take a short break after um fin after watching episode three. I don't know why. It's only shameless that this happens to me, right? I I can sit and binge a like a whole season of any other show, any other series. But for shameless, after just watching one episode, I have to go out. Like I have to take a a break, like a substantial break, you know, and come back. I I don't know why. It's just it, it's only with shameless, like. A couple days ago, I was able to watch like six episodes of this new series I'm reacting to, um, uh, Shadow and Bone, like in in succession, back to back to back to back to back, no headaches, no nothing. But shameless episode three. <laughs> okay, it's time to take a break. You know, I don't know why it happens. Anyway, um, that aside, we're on episode four now. This one is titled Strangers on the Train. Episode three, man, Fiona. That is all I have to say. Fiona. Okay, and Samantha. You know, Franks. Frank's daughters this season are just ah, but I'm wasting too much time. Let's check this out. Oh my God, this guy. Fiona is truly Frank's daughter, man. God damn. And this guy, this guy knows the type of chick Fiona is. My guy, were you so hungry you had to actually come meet her in the L? Or on the L, I don't know, on the train. This, this guy is hungry, man. Oh my god, man. Look, oh. Wait, that is all this guy came for? <laughs> wow, man. You're cute. Not trying to look cute. Man, Debbie can go hit her head on a wall somewhere. She can go hug a transformer for like yeah, honestly. Like nah, she better grow up soon or else she's going to be like my least favorite character. Uh assuming your donor passes the cross match and oral glucosamine test without issue, then she'll pass. She's my daughter. Oh, well then we'll have everything we need from a medical standpoint. If I pay for the operation myself, how much? Transplant surgery is a very complicated procedure involving more than a dozen... Bro, just answer the question. Okay, it's a shakedown. Our glorious healthcare system at work. How much? How much? All in, 150 grand. Yeah, this is why, this is why I love Canada. <laughs> God, 150. You have got to be pooping on me. Like, I don't know how much it costs in Canada, but I know, I know the system is, is much better. I think we have like uh, here, here. There's like universal healthcare or some shit. I don't know, <laughs> but I know it's it's much better than this. What the heck is this, man? I shouldn't be surprised. Oh. <laughs> He's late for exams. Wow. You're disrupting. Just a, a time I have left. It doesn't work that way. Why not? I'm not gonna argue about this. I studied my ass off for this test. Okay, just let me in and I will prove it to you. I'm sorry. Don't <gasps> fucking prick. Just let me take the damn test. Oh my god. Well, there goes the scholarship. I need your help. I want you to break my leg. <laughs> the insurance money it's the only way i'll be able to pay for the transplant you want me to hurt you this is what kyle does it's life or death <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way this cop is catching him come on guys let's be real get comfortable need you up some soup you really know how to take care of your old man thank you son <laughs> God damn. And I was just about to say Carl is such a caring son. <laughs> oh, it was sleeping pills. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me this guy's about to break it. He's about to break his leg. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God damn. What do you think you're doing? I told you to stop. Very good question. I said when I tell you this guy has snatched her soul. 
More like he has her number. Oh my god, this is going to be a terrible season for Fiona, man. Oh my god! You in the neighborhood? Yeah, sorry, I probably should have called. You know, the money he gives you comes right out of the company that I bust my ass to make profitable. That makes it my business. Listen, I know you think that they're rich, but they don't have nearly as much as you think they do. Poor Mike, man. Don't ever come near me again. Who is this? Who is this girl kidding? Who is she kidding? Just come out and break up with this guy, honestly. He does. Oh, he's. Do you see how bent his leg is? Your life. Ah! You see how bent his leg is. Ah! Oh, God. Help! Help! Someone, oh, please no. help! Hey, you. What are you doing? Oh, Debbie, 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 stop. Stop. What has gotten into you? Uh, why'd you ask me over? I thought you liked the picture I sent. I mean, I deleted it. This guy is such a good guy. It's actually, it's actually scaring me now. <laughs> I'm so scared. You're awesome. I mean, I have a great time with you, but this is no, just... no, it's okay. I'm not gonna run to the cops, Red. This isn't about the cops. I mean, maybe a little, but it's you. I came out wrong. Don't you want to? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Someday. Why not now? Cause you're. 13? See, help me, help me tell this chick, go for goodness sake. You're freaking 13. Ha! I am so scared and shocked, impressed at how sensible. This is like the first sensible guy. This is the most sensible guy I've seen on this series. See, if you like, what, well, like I said, she should go and hug a transformer for all I care, man. This guy is such a good guy, man. Oh my god. You were joking, right, about not going back to college? I'm serious, I'm done. Grow a pair. Hmm. Excuse me? You heard me. Tough it out, man. What are you, pussy? Hmm. It, it, it's like I said, it's not only up to me. You're resourceful. You'll figure it out. Hmm. Do, do you want to end up like me? Clock man! Praying that you can figure out some way to support your family? Because that's what I'm going through. I got bills up to my ass. Let me tell you something. It fucking sucks. Kevin is... <laughs> The king of advice. There's no one better to beat in the system than you. Hell, man, you got him to give you four fucking years for free. Why don't you get your damn diploma, spit in their faces, and have a fucking future? No, I'm getting pretty damn tired of everybody telling me where I should be and what I should be doing. Stop making them have to. Grow the fuck up. Kev, man. Um, thanks for the beers, Kev. Yeah, you're welcome. GFY. Yeah, TGIF. <laughs> That's some tough advice, but Lip needs it, man. You wanna go somewhere? Where? Bathroom. With me. <sighs> man. This girl makes me tired. Like who who at this point enjoyed watching Debbie? Like who looked forward to Debbie scenes throughout this this uh first four episodes of season four? Who was watching through this these episodes going, man? I can't wait to see Debbie next. <laughs> Tell me, like, comment in the comment section, okay? I want to. <laughs> I don't even know how can I. She's she's like my least favorite character. It's not even. Uh, okay. It's not even a competition at this point. It's clear. I don't even know what nonsense she's doing, man. So, have you done this before? Um, yeah. 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 Me too. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> do you want to do it? Oh. Okay. Or we could do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my shirt off. Oh, there's no need to pretend. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I can't do this. I can't do this. That's okay. I think I already did. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? We're not a match. What? The transplant lady said my white blood cells attacked yours. Why the fuck did they do that? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Sorry? What the hell does good does that do me? I need a liver, not a goddamn apology. Thank you, God. Thank you for the cosmic fuck you. Even my own daughter isn't a match. What? Anything else you want to throw at me? Daughter? <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, you did. 
Oh, fuck it. What's the use? <gasps> hate me now, hate me later. You all hate me eventually, and for what? I almost put you in my mouth. I didn't ask you to do that. You dry humped my thigh for half an hour yesterday. Seriously. Dry humping is not incest. Get out. What are you yelling about? I'm the one not getting the liver. Get out! Jesus God almighty. Okay. Get out! Okay. Get out! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, not bad. <laughs> I want a retest. How long have you been out here? A couple hours. I didn't want to miss you. I wish you'd shown this concern for punctuality yesterday. Is that your goal to graduate students who can punch a clock? My goal is to graduate students who can manage the organizational demands of the real world. Okay, listen, listen, I, I understand all the demands of the real world, okay? It's, it's just the demands of this place that are taking me some time to figure out, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, right? I just need someone to say, fuck it, right? This kid deserves a break. I take it that's me. <laughs> Got a blue book? Yeah. Right here. Pen? Yeah, I got a three, just in case. Oh, fuck it. Oh, okay. I guess there's one, there's at least one MIT prof that's not fucking uptight. Okay, okay. At least lip grew a pair. Thanks to Kevin's advice and uh, Mandy's right hook. <laughs> Let's add that, okay? Man, this episode, I was more tired than normal. <laughs> Going through this episode, my God. Um, from watching Debbie's whole, just gallivanting through this episode, looking for how to lose her virginity. Like, like I care about that shit, you know? <sighs> man i mean i can understand how maybe um her, what she's going through right now would um resonate with some people right i can understand that uh, but it just didn't resonate with me okay it's uh it, it just felt so it felt like a chore having to watch her go through all that uh, I, I i guess that's where i'll leave it for now um fiona bro I, i'm at the point where i just i feel like she should just go to mike and say man i'm this type of person i like this these kinds of guys you're a good guy but you're just you're just too good for me okay i slept with, like you know just own up and break up like let this guy have some peace honestly like it will hurt him now but it, it's i think he's be he, he's better off being told the truth as soon as possible because this guy is really see he was even planning for her birthday and then seconds later she was with his bro his brother again my god like i feel so bad for him and then uh, a huge story of this episode as well is uh all his lip you know how all the things lip was going through in this episode and you know he almost he came so close to quitting and it was the people around him who got him to uh you know get his shit together and like try to force his way through and like just keep trying you know uh, you have to like kev is he's the quintessential voice of reason in this in this series right now nobody gives advice like kev nobody my god man <laughs> and the guy said uh, you know i remember when uh, lip said gfy and he said tgif <laughs> uh, i don't know why but that just that just cracks me up man uh but yeah it's good to see now that at least someone gave him a chance in mit like i don't know i don't know about people who have actually gone to mit but like right now mit the optics I'm, I'm seeing right now for mit isn't looking good at all and now it's just to see how lip starts to get himself together you know because it's not like he doesn't know he know his stuff he knows his stuff he's just he's just not used to this type this type of school you know he, he, where he really has to be on top of his game every single day you know or else he's going to fall behind fast um so yeah and then frank frank and samantha so far samantha is still okay you know minus the explosion she had where she chucked frank out of her trailer and stuff but you know we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt for that at least for now but yeah i'm, st I'm still looking forward to when she meets fiona you know debbie carl lip 
and then i'm waiting for when ian comes back man ian has been gone for four episodes and this guy i just want to see what has changed uh but yeah let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments down below and as always if you enjoyed this reaction give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you on episode five take care have a good day